Last week, courts in California made a decision that will affect many student-athletes across America. In the case of Alston versus the NCAA, a California judge ruled that the organization's compensation rules violate antitrust laws in the U.S. If that's confusing, don't worry. Simply put, the NCAA can no longer put a cap on the amount of money schools give the student-athletes through scholarships. While student-athletes won't be paid, more money being given to them through scholarships will allow schools to pay for computers, science equipment, musical instruments, and other tangible items not included in the cost of attendance calculation, but nonetheless related to the pursuit of academic studies. The NCAA was upset with the decision, saying, The decision acknowledges that the popularity of college sports stems in part from the fact that these athletes are indeed students who must not be paid unlimited cash sums unrelated to education. Yes, because all of the work we have to put in and you know, our fans come to the game, they pay in to see us. I feel like we should get paid for that too. Yes, they should be paid a little bit, but they should not get, like, if they have really bad grades, they should not get a full ride to college. But they also do put a lot of work into their sports and what they do in general. So they, if they're especially good at it, they should get some money for that. Uh, on a college level, I think uh, student athletes should be paid at least a little amount because they're taking so much time away uh, from their time where they could be doing other things. And they, uh, like, the schools make a lot of money from uh, the amount of people who buy, like, snacks and tickets to their games. I do because um, really a student athlete going to college most of the time has no money. And basically they rely on the program to get them through school. And I think they just need some money, to, just a little spending money, nothing extravagant. I mean, not to make them come to the school, just to get up, help them get by in school. Um, I don't think it would really make a difference because, you know, it's a lot of people going to college for free anyways. So it really don't matter. I think that it's important that, like, you're able to pay for those things, but the money should like be able to go to whoever needs it, not just specifically sports. Um, probably because of the amount of high uh, debt that students are going into in college and it's causing a big problem. Uh, that's difficult because I don't know how the um, colleges are going to afford that. I mean, without capping the scholarships, um, football, which is the money maker, is just going to go crazy. So I, I'm not behind that at all. Um, I feel like there should be more opportunities for everyone, not just those in sports, because it's limited for a lot of people and some there's extremely talented people not just in one realm of education. A uh, step in the wrong direction. I don't think students will ever get paid to play football in college or any sport, in my opinion. But <laughs> that's just the NCAA. Uh, I think this is definitely a step in the right direction. I think more should be done. I mean, there's so much cheating going on all the time that it isn't caught. So um, at some point, yeah, more should be done. I don't know how much more, but definitely more should be done. The previous cap on scholarships made it hard for colleges to compete with one another during recruitment periods. With the cap no longer in place, athletes who will bring in more money to a college's athletic program can now be more fiercely sought after. The main reason this decision was reached was because the NCAA has not been able to define what an amateur is in regards to college sports. When some players can declare for the NFL and NBA drafts while underclassmen in college and are picked, it's hard to argue that they're not already performing at a professional level. The NCAA and colleges making massive amounts of money using the likenesses of unpaid students has been controversial for years. With many past, present, and future Lakers going off to college for sports, the changes around compensation will be greatly affecting them in years to come. I'm Cameron Montgomery, reporting for Laker Update.